They say you're on location. No, I love it. Yeah, yeah I know y'all grew up with All the music. All sisters are go there, Captain. In the music. In the music. Old school. Welcome to Virtually Uncut. Yes, sex and relationships. You know, we like to pay homage to the old style tracks because they groove you in a different way. No disrespect to today, but I hope you are going to join us because it's cool. All systems are go. We're transmitting live on Ustream, mm. live stream, and all throughout cyberspace. This is Virtually Uncut, coming to you live from the Chocolate Milky Way. <laughs> you know, you're the man, you're the man. When you bring it like that, you know, it just can't help it. You just can't help it. <laughs> got a special show tonight, huh, Vic? Yeah, you know, we got to do something a little different. We, you know, we always talking about the women, putting the women on the spot, or the woman, depending on our guest, but we're going to try something a little bit different today. Not that it's going to change anything, but I think in a matter of five to six seconds, you'll either turn away or stay. It's an obvious scenario, right? Hmm. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. Do we get you in that groove, giving you some special visuals? Oh, yeah. To get you in that mood. Oh, Intoxication. yeah. Intoxication. We got to do something, man. But you know, sometimes we just can't cater to the men. We got to do something for the ladies. And sometimes we have to bring in understanding. That's right. Oh. Digging deep. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, oh, I, Oh, yes. You know, sometimes, Mario, when the ladies are not here, do you feel you have a certain power, man? Yeah, man, it's the power of flexibility. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of power you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what kind of power the is power that, man? power of flexibility. Uh, I hear you, my man. Oh, yeah, that was hot. Yeah, definitely. Welcome to Virtual and Cut, everybody. That's right, that's Mario. No, you do not see Stephanie nor DeVoe. And you get to see me. And unfortunately, I don't think that's a treat nor a pleasure. But what we're going to do today is treat you to something a little different. And the only reason why we're doing that because Stephanie and DeVoe is not here today. That's right. So I predict in three to five seconds, most of the men will turn the channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what I'm but saying. But the ladies are going right. to stay because you're going to get the full Monty. Yeah. Those but, who stay are going to see something at the end. Yeah. That they perhaps have never seen before. Yeah. So I want to want you to know if you have perhaps an inkling of curiosity. <laughs> well, you know what curiosity did to the cat with satisfaction brought him back. Is that what they did? They better tune in, Vic, because they get a surprise, Vic. Oh, okay. Whatever that surprise is, we have, <laughs> we have ready for them. Oh, yeah, we got ready for them. It's that kind of surprise that, men, that the men go like this. Is this the best it's going to get? Let me turn over to a something. blow up dog. Like Atlanta Housewives or something like that, man. <laughs> but, you know, hey, look, we got to bring it that we don't have that much time. And like I said, sometimes it's not for us to sit back and put the women on the mm -hmm. spots. You know, we enjoy this all the time, Mario. You That's know, right. When you get Stephanie on your right side, you know you do something because you know you're going to go her into something, right? But there, Yes, right. But you know what, fellas? So here's the thing. So when the ladies abandon us, what do we do? <laughs> we turn to other forms of entertainment. That's correct. So Vic and I, we said, well, if the ladies are not here tonight, we'll go to some other forms of entertainment that will maybe equally right. provocative oh, yeah. and just as entertaining. Well, I know one that I had to sit back and bring up, man. I couldn't help it because I hear it all the time. And I'm not saying, I'm not knocking the women. I'm just going to say this. The title of this show, for all of you who basically are not following it, you can go to packstereo.tv forward slash live to see what the topics are. The first one is, man, pocket rocket versus the men. Now, you know what I'm talking about, Mario, when I say that, don't you? Well, no, tell me about it. Think I'll go to that. <laughs> yeah, pocket rocket versus the men. It's oh, very, yeah. Po I, you, know, you, I, you know what? I okay. thought it sounded familiar. Right. I had a pocket rocket. I actually bought some of these. They make no, wonderful I, gifts see. and wonderful stocking stuffers. <laughs> right. Here's the pocket rocket right there, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look. See, hey, look. You know. I'm not trying to knock anybody, but you know, you know, whenever we go out and see movies and we see things, it's man against machine. I truly feel the pocket rocket is man versus the natural gifts that we are imparted as against the machine. Okay. You know, so I, here's my thing. And before we even do that, we have a piece here because I want you to understand the questions at hand. And it's not to sit back and take anybody away from what they prefer. But the first thing I saw here when I started looking at this piece, I said, you know, are men losing their bravado of sex to the machines? 
Now, Mario, I can go right to you and say, man, you know what I'm saying. Do you feel that the pocket rocket is something that helps you as in a relationship with a, a woman or that they reap the benefit of having that along with you in your relationship? Well, Vic, you know, this is one of those questions that the answer has so, so much to do with the age I knew of it. the person. Right. Now, between the ages of, say, 15 to 35, right. the pocket rocket may be competition. <laughs> After 35, it becomes a dear old friend. <laughs> By the age of 45, you probably keep your own. <laughs> so it has a lot to do, Vic, <laughs> okay. with the age of the person. See, when you're younger, right. you rely on different things. And when you're older, you have other skill sets. So there's a natural right. gravitation of the sexual skill set by both men and women as you get older. As words, you get older, you tend to rely less on your penis and more on your other things like your mind, your hands, your right. lips, your tongue. Those things tend to be more. Right. And, and, it's, and then occasionally as you get older... And increasingly more common, Vic. Where is that? The pocket rocket. <laughs> As right. you get older. It's a dear old buddy. Right. Keep one in the dash and in the glove compartment. Okay, well, let me ask you this. And then you're overnighter. You, got, you know what? You had to go there. You had to go there. Here's a, have you had an experience through somebody telling you, whether you had one personally or not, where a brother, and when I say brother, we're not talking about just African-American. We're just talking about a man. Said, man, 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 the pocket rocket has not only done better for the women that I know, but it has allowed me to actually be involved in pleasing the lady even more because it's not used in that reference. It's used in the I never have heard a man say it, but I've had a number of. See, I, I tend, I'm one of those brothers, you know, for some reason, women love to talk to me about personal stuff. We're uncensored like here, brother. Like they're periods. So, yeah, yeah. Somewhere along in the period talk. Yeah. I've had a, a more than one woman, woman talk to me about their use of vibrators. And so I, I've had a couple of women that kept pocket rockets in their purses. Yeah, yeah. More, and, you know, and, and, and as I got older, more. Right. And, and then here's so, the part. But no, I haven't had any men, though. Right. Your question was, have, have, have I had any men? Because they're but not. no men have come to me and say they use them. <laughs> you know what? I'm the one who says I use them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm a revolutionary wait, millennium wait a brother. Wait a minute. I might have one right here. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, you know what? Let me look at this one. I'm getting old. Wait, for all you guys who may say, think. I need two. The, qu the question <laughs> is really wrapped around where the brothers get to use the pocket rocket. In other words, the difference in using the pocket rocket for women is she knows what she's going to do with it. But some men, if you're smart, can say, let me take the pocket rocket and show you what I could do with it as well with all the other things that come it's never usually couched that way so the thing i'm looking at is the pocket rocket used as an, a replacement and i'm thinking it's used in, in the event that a woman doesn't have a man that satisfies her well yeah th there's that too but i tell you what Vic. okay first of all a lot of these things can be used and i tell fellas this is one of those wonderful moments, and let it be one of those foreplay kind of a things that turns you on. Right. Let her tell you what she wants you to do with the pocket rocket. Okay. And, and I and understand. Do, and do what she wants you to do with it. Okay. Now, now, on the other hand, using it by yourself, it depends how much. Women who use certain kinds of vibrators frequently, there was some issue of whether or not it would become you would get somehow used to that kind of a thing. Uh, very, yeah, very used. Because but I, you can give some head and hum with you know, do <laughs> Yankee Doodle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, wait. You know, I, you do one of those I, knew, I, mean, I knew a woman. <laughs> I knew a woman who said, look, I can tell if a man is jacking off, and I'm going to say that, you know, you guys call it masturbation and everything else, but she says, by the amount of uh, in his ejaculation in the semen. He says if he does very little, there's only two things that's happening when that happens. He says he's, if very little is coming out, that means somewhere, somehow is being used somewhere else. So that, that's not always well, true, I, Vic, I, but let's just say that the best parts of that are true. Yeah. Yes, if you've been recently masturbating, yeah. as you continue to masturbate, the volumes are less. There. Okay.